The purpose of this video is just to show you uh, what high quality student accommodation really means. Just beginning this little walk around from the garden, um, as you can see it is a double garden, uh, shielded from the surrounding houses. There's a bit of a yard here which I will admit um, needs a bit of a tidy but throw a hundred students and a keg of beer in here and I'm pretty sure no one will notice the, uh, the hose pipe and the bucket. If we just go straight on in now to the communal part of the house. Very quickly got a kitchen, nice and spacious, a couple of breakfast bars and, uh, and a dining table. There is in here a double oven, a washing machine, a tumble dryer and there's a dishwasher um, and a utility cupboard elsewhere in the house. Just move on very quickly to the lounge. Normally student accommodation uh, either has no lounge or a very small lounge as the landlord will tend to try and use it for a bedroom. Um, as you can see here, a um, bit of clutter in here which obviously will go down the skip very shortly but uh, not a bad size. It doesn't end there though. Um, I'll try and run around as quickly as possible because this house is colossal. But what we do have is double bedroom number one. Double bedroom number two. Little bathroom with uh, a shower size, size, sizable enough for two, I suppose. Um, double bedroom number three. Double bedroom number four. And uh, if I work out how probably fast forward this bit of the video. Bedroom number five. I have to say I like this one. Nice big window looking out over the, uh, the gardens at the front of this property. Um, double bed, you know, decent amount of shelving, <clears throat> wardrobe. You'll notice there's no chair, um, but there is actually a, a leather recliner floating around for this one. You've got um, intercom entry uh, for the front door which is of course just here um, and if you'll excuse my battered old Ford Focus outside you've actually got private parking for three vehicles out there. Quickly on to the second floor um, there is the, the leather recliner which needs to be downstairs and the spare wardrobe. Here we are double bedroom number six and lucky for some, double bedroom number seven with, uh, I have to say, quite a lot of floor space. Um, views over the gardens to the rear. So hopefully my white balance will, uh, will adjust correctly. And uh, quite a tasty ensuite bathroom, I have to say. Um, just kill that light here. Think of the environment. Now seats for nine people, so here we are, bedroom number eight. Again, nice big double. Uh, ladder's still in here, just finishing off painting and decorating. This was obviously one uh, enormous great room at some stage, but we've partitioned it. Cunning. And here we are, bedroom number nine, which, uh, well, <laughs> again, nice sizable bedroom. With uh, what has to be said, fairly... Uh, Decent views over the town. Um, I think that's pretty much it from me. Signing out.